So in continuing with our book review series, I have noticed that we've actually failed to really recommend any books that are dealing with religious context. And I mean by that, dealing with the uh, major traditions. So we have we have three major traditions. We have Buddhism, we have Bun, and we have uh, uh, Hinduism. And then uh, within within those, we have uh, branch schools. And uh, and within the Buddhism of Tibet specifically, we have um, we have the Nyingma, we have the Sakya, Kagyu, and Gelug, and then a, a large number of uh, smaller traditions and schools. Some of which have uh, been absorbed into other schools, and some which have really uh, kind of just died away. And even the practices are not uh, all that popular today. But uh, in looking for for general books, it's been a little bit tough. Uh, because there really aren't that many out there. Most uh, publications that deal with specific traditions, Buddhist traditions, are dealing very much with uh, uh, specific teachings. But um, we'll start with uh, the Sakya School because we do have a publication called A Concise History of the Glorious Sakyapa School. And I'm somewhat familiar with this publication because it was originally written in Tibetan by Chokye Trichen Rinpoche, I think the publication came out in the in English. It came out in the 70s, even. I think it was quite early, uh, but not a, a necessarily a complete translation and a little bit of paraphrasing as well. So what we have now is we have a new translation done by a very, very good scholar uh, named David Jackson, and he was very familiar with this uh, Tibetan teacher, Chokhi Trichen Rinpoche. And he, David Jackson's done a new translation. It was published in 2022 by Vajra Publications out of uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. So the the contents are, are generally are divided here into into five sections. Uh, the first is uh, really dealing with Sachin Kunganingpo, kind of the founder, although it was. Um, a little bit before him, it was founded. But Sachin Kung Ningpo, um, it talks about uh, him as a person, but then also his lineage and where he comes from and his previous ancestors and their relationship with Padmasambhava in the 8th century. Uh, then the second chapter deals with Sachin Kung Ningpo's teachers and what he received in the way of teachings and what was his uh, legacy of tantric teachings, because he was predominantly a tantric practitioner. Um, the third chapter is really talking about uh, the two main sons of Sachin Kung Ningpo, Sonam Semo and Trok Pigyeltsen, and then dealing with nephews after that, and, and some of them are quite famous, such as Saki Pandita, and then Chogyal Pagpa, who is a teacher of uh, Kublai Khan, and the Mongol court of uh, Yuan period China. Then we have uh, Drogon Chana, and then Dharmapala. So these these are the are the main early descendants who were very uh, important in establishing uh, uh, the Sakya tradition. Now in the in the fourth section, the fourth chapter, then it deals with uh, the really what is the main uh, curriculum structure of the Sakya school and who are the main teachers that followed, and then what are the principal. Uh, uh, branch monasteries, the very important branch monasteries, such as uh, Ngor Ewam, um, Shalu, um, uh, Bodong, uh, uh, Tanak, Serdokchen, uh, Dartrongmoche, all of the major uh, monasteries, even up to uh, Dege Gongchen, founded by Tong Tong Gyalpo in the 15th century. Uh, so that's a very important and quite a large section of this publication written by Chokhi Tri Rinpoche. Uh, then the, the fifth uh, chapter, fifth section, discusses the unique characteristics of the Sakya tradition. So, so this book is really uh, one of the best. We have actually two others which we'll talk about later, and then we'll also move on to talking about uh, the Nyingma tradition, the Kagyu, and the Gelug, where we can find the publications. Right now we're just in a process of searching for good um, historical texts that are not overly academic, not too many footnotes, um, and, and, and really... Um, uh, written in a language that that is uh, that is uh, understandable and uh, and communicates well. Uh, so, a concise history of the glorious Sakipa school. Um, we'll put this on uh, 
we'll probably even put the chapter um, uh, sections on, on the HAR website, and we'll link it with a, a Sakya bibliography in the Sakya section on the HAR website. So don't forget, you can subscribe, you can press like, you can join HAR on Patreon and help to support the work we do. We're a 501c3 not-for-profit in the United States, and uh, we rely 100% on your donations and your kindness uh, to help us do the work we do. Thank you.